we had many during my period at West Ham, to be honest. And uh, Canute, for example, we have Stimac, uh, you know, yeah. uh, it was a skipper in the Croatia national team. But as I said many times to my friend, Trevor Sinclair was one of the best the winger I have ever seen, even in Italy. So I played the next two top footballers in Italy, see Milan, Juventus, but the, the, the quality, technique, uh, uh, skills, and then the, 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 the fitness level it was one of the best. You were also a great player for West Ham. How many times have you watched that goal against Wimbledon? You must have watched it. No, no more than a thousand times. So, <laughs> no, many times because some, sometimes I, I, I spend time you know, with my friend. We play five aside on Wednesday night in Rome, and then we go in, and there are my friends. Sometimes yeah. that they, they go to YouTube, and then oh, your goal, your goal. No, that it, it was one. It's the same, man. One thousand yeah. times is one, but it's a goal to remember. Yes. Uh, I played with him just. Uh, for a few months, but I realized that uh, probably I can identify in him the, 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 the real diva, uh, Ian Wright. Ian Wright? Yeah. Why? What made him a diva? Uh, because, you know, his way to behave, his way to act, uh, it was like, you know, thought he was a model, you know, in some way. So, but uh, good fella, good guy, I had a good time with him. Is that no. you? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, Redknapp said many times that uh, obviously he tried to, to make it two teams and the best one with me, next to me, the next the, the players just tried to win. Otherwise, I was uh, I would be upset for two, three days. Uh, maybe really? I couldn't play Saturday game in, no. in the best way. Yeah, everybody want to challenge, want to win, uh, even uh, uh, five aside when you play with your friends. But uh, when there is a competition, when you, you, you want to you know, get something from training and you want to take and bring it with you for the Saturday game, you give everything. To be honest, I was one of the best and the worst in this. Did people know just to sort of leave you alone? If you've lost in training, is it like, right, yeah, just yeah, let yeah, Paolo yeah, yeah. do his I thing? I remember just the guy that is behind the camera there <laughs> with this John Moncure, they yeah. used to laugh about me because I, sometimes I left the training pitch but like if I lost the Champions League final, yeah. you know. So like, you know, talking myself to myself, even in the shower, they were laughing. I don't know why, but they, they had a joke many, many times on me. But uh, yes, for an hour, uh, the people try don't, to don't speak to me because I was really upset. One, maybe that I can say is Paul Kitson. Uh, because uh, he was a fantastic guy, fantastic mm. fella, but sometimes he tried to put something elegant, go. but didn't work together, you know. He had a very, you know, what you say, strong body, yeah. big body, muscular. You know, muscular. Yeah. It didn't work in his body, yeah. in my way, you know, so... He, but <laughs> he was a good guy anyway. You're a very stylish man. You were when you were playing. Thank you. You still are. Um, were you the best dressed? I can't say this. But of course, yes. <laughs> they used to have a laugh on me because I wear with, you know, my, my trousers very short. They used to ask me if there was water in my house, you know, if there was, there was a problem. I don't know why, because I like to, to, to wear very, mm. very tight. I asked before the small size on, on this uh, t-shirt oh. because I like to but because off, I like to see also my body because <laughs> I, you know, I think that I keep myself fit. Yeah, I like good. to. So I like in the way I, I wear, but I can't judge myself, of course. I, I would find every day someone, but <laughs> never happened because, you know, we had at the time English managers. Yeah. They used to have experience as a footballer in the 80s. So 20 minutes late, no problem. We start late, there was a problem. <laughs> and especially because, you know, we had Redknapp and uh, Lampard Senior, yeah. and we had at the team Lampard Junior. Mm. So they used to work in their way, and then I was there maybe. I, I, I remember that uh, I arrived uh, one hour and a half before the training session. Half hour before, maybe we were only in 10 in the dressing room. But the people, when they came uh, coming here to, to have a training session, okay, 10 minutes to go, we change, and then we go. To be honest, for four years and a half, I wasn't happy about that. No. Always there was a discussion about it, but okay, but 
There is no pressure we can no uh, train in later, you know, but it's not for us. We need to get in discipline if we want to get something in Saturday game. So if your team from back then was playing now, they'd all be skinned because they'd be getting fined. Under me, Under me every day. Every day? Every day. Uh, oh, terrible. The, the, the club will, 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 will become rich for sure, yeah. you know. No, not about uh, Sky <laughs> Television, you know, the Don't income from, from my fine, for sure. For the trigger, you know, Joe Cole, he was yeah. very young. He, I think uh, he played the first game as a professional when he was uh, 16 and a half, something like that, 17. It was incredible with the ball in his feet. Yeah. Pace, uh, sharp, uh, quick, uh, change of direction, keeping the ball under control. Under, he was uh, carries the ball uh, and cover the ball, shield the ball in, in some some way that uh, I didn't see before from a young, talented player like him. So he was a fantastic, talented player. When you signed for West Ham, Harry Redknapp at the press conference, there was you, Mark Vivian Foe. Yeah, our friend. Do you remember the last guy? There was three of you. Jimmy Bullard. Yeah. The, yeah. the fantastic model. Yeah. The, Do you remember him? Yeah, With of the big course. bushy hair? Yeah. He had a good career. Mm. But uh, he should do better, in my opinion, because at the end he proved that uh, he had fantastic quality. Yeah. Especially in uh, take a free kick, you know, you know, set places, but he had the quality and uh, he was really young, obviously. He'll be absolutely buzzing that you've remembered him. His face, I like him. Yeah, you can't forget his face. No. He's very loud as yeah. well. <sighs> uh, we are the many, I have to be honest. Michael Carrick. Yeah. Really intelligent. You know, when you you born as a talent, mm. uh, you can learn a lot in, in, during your life, but he was intelligent, really quick, sharp, very smart in some way. We had, uh, in this way, lots of members of the, the teams that uh, they, they were really tough. I have to tell you that Radok, uh, in this way was one of the even steam match you know some uh, players from abroad i remember one day that stuart pierce wanted to kill me <laughs> yes red i'm told that to in a tv show that uh, one day he went yeah. to him say i kill me. i yeah. kill the italian now yeah. i kill it because I always always uh, come on lads come on let's come on. because obviously uh, I, I i have no character to stay quiet you know i think the stuart pierce moment was when you caught the ball at everton we need points to maintain the league, so we were in, in a comfortable position. But even red and up, uh, when uh, we walked uh, inside the dressing room, I remember that uh, we, we drew one nil, one point, uh, yeah. you know, against Everton. It would be good anyway. But I remember there was a silence, mm. and then the people have a strange, strange uh, uh, looking at me like. Uh, say, What's happened now? It's better if I walk out because yeah. otherwise they're gonna kill me. Under the shower, I was uh, was worried. But you did pick up the fair play award. Yeah, but I didn't do this for for, for, <laughs> for the award because no, I, know, I, know. I said oh, every time I said to the people, I prefer to to play alone against ten people rather than ten against one. Yeah. So it was clear for me that uh, he had a big problem in his knees. I received this uh, fantastic delivery. I was there like, <laughs> and then I kept the ball. I uh, kept the ball. Uh, I couldn't carry on because obviously it wasn't fair. The real DJ was uh, Trevor with really? the rubbish music. What was he playing? But you know, something like uh, the soul, uh, soft, uh, like uh, music more like uh, uh, Pavarotti, you know. <laughs> Vincero, you know. It's too heavy for young too people, heavy, yeah. you know, but uh, before the game, it gave you an extra you know, lift. Uh, energy to, to spend on, on, on the game. Me. Yeah? Yeah. Moonwalking, yeah. You can moonwalk? Yeah. Can you still do it now? No. No? No, no there is no to the, the floor. I the can make space. No, no, I can't. <laughs> but uh, no, no, there, to be honest, I have to tell you, I dance well. Yeah. In some way, I feel that I got uh, rhythm in, in, in my blood. I like a black yeah. guy because uh, for them it's natural. You know, they move in a fantastic way. Sometimes I try to imitate, 
but I couldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't work in front of the mirror. But I learned a lot in this way, yeah? to be honest. Yeah. So you just go home and practice. Okay, I've got yeah, to get good. try to move the, your, your shoulder yeah. with your neck. Uh, so to, you start from to the top. Start to move your, you know, your ankle and then yeah. that's why I say oh, so then you yeah. know. Yeah, 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 I like it. Yeah. I can show you, look. Yeah, go on, yeah, Look, show look. Me. this is my movement, my, my perfect <laughs> movement. See, uh, this is my movement. A round of applause for that, I think. People love this. Right? Yeah. That's not bad at all.